Hello, everybody. My name is Zach Moss. I live in France. Now, I'm reading a Forbes article before I get into my own story about the title of this video. But Forbes says, the French government has now made it legally necessary to be vaccinated to access cultural events, theme parks, ski lists, eateries, bars, and most forms of long-distance transport. The bill was passed on Sunday, 16th of January, and will likely take place Friday, 21st of January, 2022. So right now it is January 18th and apparently it's passed, which to put all of this in normal people terms, sorry, I'm like messing around with this mic right here to put all of this in normal people terms. If you are, if you are unvaccinated or less than two vaccines that you have had to have gotten, uh, six months ago, you are not allowed to do anything, including going to the gym, which from an American perspective, that's kind of crazy. Uh, but essentially, the idea is that France has a new COVID strain that's unique to just France. Now, you could get your second vaccine right now and be good to go for another six months. But if you already have your second vaccine, you have to get a third one within six months or else you can't do anything. So full story, here I am. I've had pericarditis as a result of COVID. I got it about a year and a half ago when COVID was kind of starting more or less, and then it never really went away, it kind of like reduced. And then I got Delta and then I went in the emergency room for several days, messy process. I was on the equivalent of 40 aspirin a day for two weeks, then 30 aspirin for another two weeks, then 20 aspirin, then 10, so on and so forth. It was a horrible process. And uh, I'm actually not still fully recovered right now. But anyway, I got approved to go back to the gym. So I'm like, hell yeah, let's go back to the gym. Haven't been in months, getting a little fat body. Well, you know, like a like a skinny fat body, not like a not a fat body that looks like strong, you know, like kind of bulky. Anyway, so I walk in and I just got back to France, which means I have a digital COVID passport. And the individual who works there scanned it, said hello. And then he said, okay, well, this doesn't work. And I said, oh, okay, it must have been an error. I'll go and dig it back up. So I pull it up on my phone. He does it again. And he's like, no, it doesn't work. I'm like, what do you mean it doesn't work? I got in the country. Of course it works. He's like, no, 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 no. It just expired. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> These things expire? And he's like, yes. Well, first he was saying in French. And I was like, je ne comprends pas le français. Like, I don't understand French. Like, je comprends pas. Je préfère uh, anglais ou espagnol. Like, I prefer English or Spanish. And he finally is like, uh, you cannot, uh, you cannot come here. I'm like, why? It's like, well, because your last vaccine, which was the second vaccine was from six months ago and it just expired today. And I'm like, what the hell is this? I've had COVID twice, been in the emergency room, I think five times over the last two years because of this. And I've been vaccinated twice and now I can't go anywhere even though I just got over COVID because I'm not vaccinated a third time. Anyway, I've been a little frustrated about this. I understand that these things uh, are necessary to an extent because of how rampant COVID is in France, because of the transportation system. Everybody's like crotch to buttocks everywhere. Um, I'm a little, I'm just a little salty because I just wanted to go back to the gym. And I, although I do like their healthcare system here, they, because it's centralized in a one computer system, if there's an error on your account, like something goes wrong, you can't get into a doctor. And there's an error on my account right now where for some weird reason, I can't actually log on and accept a doctor's appointment. I can find the doctor, I can click on the appointment, but I can't actually accept it. Uh, it just keeps popping up errors, errors come back later. And it's been doing that over the last month. And so the only time I receive treatment is if I... Um, literally go to the emergency room is pretty much how it goes. And I know that because I was just into a cardiologist yesterday doing a checkup again. So yeah, that's a thing now. I'm very curious from the Americans who are watching, what are your guys' opinions on this? Do you support mandatory vaccine passports? Yes or no. Do you think people should get it every six months? Yes or no. I literally just got back from the gym. So I don't have a strong opinion about this because on the one hand, I understand it. On the other hand, it's like, I didn't get the booster shot yet because I was dealing with pericarditis and I didn't want any influence in my body until the inflammation goes down enough to where I feel comfortable doing anything else. 
Personally, I don't know if the booster shot affects pericarditis. I know vaccines itself does affect pericarditis as well as obviously COVID does. And so I've been trying to dodge a lot of bullets at once. So I'm going to go and get the booster shot today. If you guys are interested, I'll let you know what happens. But yeah. What do you guys think about this whole process? Do you support vaccine mandates? Yes or no. And do you support the French healthcare system doing this? I'm just grateful for the fact that this happened today and not two days ago when I was trying to get back into the France. So I'm back here, back going to school here in the next uh, handful of days if they let me go back to school. So we'll see. Anyway, thank you.